Hi guys, welcome to uh, another video. I apologise for the mess. Um, I really should have cleaned this up last night, but I couldn't be bothered, so here I am. Um, here's the engine, the 140. Uh, I've been building this today. Uh, the bearings in that arrived yesterday, so cracked on with it today. Got the bottom end built. I'm just coming onto the top end now, and I thought I'd do a video, um, well, just showing you guys my progress. <coughs> I've, um, I've got a dirty cold, by the way, so my throat is actually killing me um but yeah um i'm just in the top end now i've just put the cylinder on um i've actually had the cylinder on and off and on and off um but you know i've been doing the cylinder for about an hour now um and there's a reason why um it's worth taking your time when putting the cylinder on uh, you know basically a lot of you guys that have built these engines before will know that you get three base gaskets so you get a medium thickness one a thick one and a thin one um, the sizes of these, the thinnest is 0.3 mil, the medium is 0.5 mil, and the thickest is 0.8 mil. Now, the reason why there is three different gaskets and three different thicknesses is because altering the thickness of this um, raises the cylinder up and down, and you can get different squish values. Now, the squish is basically the clearance between the top of the piston, the crown, and this band here. Um, and it's quite important actually to get this to get this right because even though the engine will run with whatever squish um, you know you can put the thickest gasket on and end up with a squish of nearly two mil and it'll still run uh, but you will be losing quite a lot of power because your compression ratio will be well down so obviously this is a highly tuned engine so I want my squish to be at its um, optimum clearance so that uh, I'm not losing out on any compression ratio, but I also don't want it to be too low that I'm endangering myself to get detonation, which is what happens when your compression ratio is too high. Um, I would go into detonation and all that crap, but to be honest, I'm just going to show you guys how to measure your squish. Now, you do need a set of vernier calipers. Um, unfortunately, I left mine in the door panel of my MX-5 which is not in Northampton at the moment, so I will have to wait until tomorrow to measure my squish. Um, but what you do need as well is some solder. Um, you need some rosin core solder. Uh, the reason why you use rosin core is because it's softer and obviously you don't want to dent the piston or the head when you're doing this. Um, I've already done this twice today. Um, the reason why I've taken the cylinder off again now is because uh, this is 1.6 mil solder and you might not be able to see, but this is a better one it's uh, only just really dented it on the top so I think the squish is probably going to be somewhere around 1.5 mil the, with the medium gasket on because I tried the medium first so I'm going to go with the, the lowest gasket and uh, see what it's like and I'll have to measure it tomorrow and I'm going to take these with me when I measure them and, uh, and yeah so I want about 0.8 mil squish 0 0.8, 0 0.9 would be good um, that's the optimum for this head to achieve 13 and a half to one compression ratio. Uh, so, yeah, I want to get near that, but I don't want to go under 0.8. So I don't think it will. I think I'll end up having to actually skim this head to achieve 0 0.8, 0 0.9, uh, because it looks like my squish is massive. <laughs> the squish is affected. Like when you rebuild the engine, obviously you've got a different comrod, different piston, everything is different. So. It's just all the manufacturer's tolerances stacked up and you can get a massive reading differently, massive different reading. So anyway, <clears throat> the way that I do it is I use a bit of solder. Um, I cut myself a piece of length. You want it a bit bigger than the squish band. So, you know, just do it about there. You want to just cut that off. If it's bigger, you can always make it smaller. And then put one end on the squish band and you just want to fold it into the combustion chamber like that and the other end on there so you get this so you get this sort of shape now I want to cut that about there so yeah when the piston comes up it's going to crush these two little tags at the side and then you can put your calipers on there and measure the clearance. So you stick this on top of the piston. Just 
cushion on there. Don't worry about it, it's not going to scratch it or anything, it's really soft. So you want to stick that across there, like so. Then you want to put your head on. And then you want to talk your head down. Okay, so once you've tightened down the head, you then want to get a 90mm socket. So again, I absolutely apologise for the mess. It is disgusting. I'm going to clean it up in a minute and go for tea. Get something to eat. Right, so you want to put your flywheel nut on, get your 19mm socket and just turn the engine over by hand, very gently. You'll feel it gets top dead centre, just give it a bit of beef and it'll crush the solder. And you want to just push it past TDC another two or three times. And then get it to TDC and then take it off. The reason why I say get it to TDC and take it off is because when you take the head off, the solder's going to be lying there. It's possible that you could, while trying to get the solder out, you could drop it down one of the ports and end up in your crankcase and then you've got to take the cylinder off again. So if you put it at the top dead centre, it can't fall in any ports. So now you've got to remove the head again. So there we go, there is our squashed solder. So obviously I will get my calipers and I will measure the um, the thickness of this. Hopefully it's somewhere around 0.8, but looking at that, considering the rest of it's 1.6 mil, I'm not gonna get very optimistic. I'm assuming that I'm gonna have to skim this head um, to get this squish down. I think it's gonna be quite high, but I won't be able to find out until tomorrow and I'm not here from tomorrow onwards till Monday, so I can't do anything about it until Monday now. Um, I'm gonna continue building the engine. Uh, I'm gonna try and get it right in the bike today. And uh, yeah, and I'll see what the squish is like maybe on Monday. Well, maybe when I get the bike running, um, I will take the head off it and take it to work and skim whatever's needed off there to take the squish down. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just show you guys a quick video on squish. Um, Maybe some of you will check the squish next time you do a top end rebuild. Um, I always do it. It takes a little bit longer. Sometimes you have to take the cylinder off two or three times. Um, but, you know, if you're if you're wanting performance, there's no reason not to do it. It does take longer. But it's just one of those things, isn't it? I mean, I've spent... I've literally spent the last hour putting that cylinder on, just taking it off, taking it on. I did have to skim, um, cut all the gaskets, though, because... The um, cylinder's been ported, so the ports, the gasket was overhanging the port, so I did have to trim two gaskets because I had to do the medium one, which is here. I had to trim all this out here, up across there, and uh, and then I had to do it to the thin one as well. So, yeah, it has taken a little bit of time, but hopefully that's it. Right, and I'll see you guys later.